Mmm, something smells good. I wonder what Lynn's cooking today. Hey, Lynn, what's cooking? Now here's your host, Lynn Austin. Welcome, everybody, to... Hey, Lynn, what's cooking? Hey, Lynn, what's cooking? And today, we are getting carrot away. Like oh, carried like away. like carried away. Yes. And carrot. carrots. Yes, carrots, okay. because it's April, and I don't know, I just think that... There's bunny rabbits bunny, out. Bunny, like, you know, like, what's up, Doc? <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> I know. I tried. I really did try. Um, but, of course, we have to start my show out with... My signature cocktail, which would be a, I know, just try to embrace this, Rhonda. And this is my friend Rhonda, by the way. She's in the kitchen today to help me with my fun carrot recipes. And Lots we're going to do... carrots yes, and some grass. It's, this, is, this is parsley. This is going to be our little garnish on top of our carrot mimosa. It's very cute. Yes. It and looks I just, very springish. And like I said, just embrace this. Watch, this is going to be a lot of fun. We're just going to put a little now, bit of carrot juice in the that? bottom. Just carrot, carrot juice? Carrot juice. And do you open that like you buy it at the store? And you you just can open buy it, it at the store. Or if you have a juicer, oh. you can use your juicer. How many and, carrots would it take to juice? You know, I don't know because I bought this at the store because I'm all about easy. And we're going to put some champagne. And I chose a dry champagne. Oh, it looks Pretty. Because carrots are kind of on the sweet side, so we went with a dry. They really are. Ooh, 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 ooh your cup Oh, is... no, 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 my dear. Look at that. That is perfect. It looks very nice. You know, that they just really shows do me. look pretty. Don't they look pretty and springy and just get you ready I'm gonna for feel like a bunny? Like planting a your garden and embrace <gasps> those bunnies. You know, sometimes we, we are not a fan of bunnies because they eat our gardens. Yes, they need but, to be composted. But <laughs> but we are in the month of spring of April and the sun is shining and the birds are singing and we are toasting to warm months. Coming okay, ahead. I really love the warm months. Cheers. In our gardens and harvest mm. and all the fun things that happen. I and love the garden. Yes, we do. Is the parsley a garnish on the Ooh, drink? You know what? <laughs> 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 no, we're going to eat it like a bunny. We're going to go over here I and thought eat it. I perhaps I you know, was going to get but, some of that parsley. You know what? Thank you for reminding okay. me, Rhonda. That's I why I had you in the, the kitchen garnish. today. We I are going to use a little matter. bit of garnish. Now, if you bought the carrots that have the cute little green tops on, but I went on the more... I like how you said tops. <laughs> yes, we just I bought the parsley because you get more bang for your buck Some and I can think reuse of it. As it. The bottoms, but they are root well, vegetable. No. Yes, but well, you know, I consider it the top because mm. it's the top of yes, the carrot. Yes, it is. But you're right. That's though. very cute. Isn't that beautiful? I like the contrast. The green, we'll put a little bit you know, and actually do you know what parsley is good for? I mean, not saying that you have this happening, but they say like if you have like dinner, you should nibble on this and it's like having a piece Soothing. of gum. No, yeah. to help your teeth and your breath. Oh, really? So there's a little tidbit of information. Oh, I thought it settled your stomach kind of no, like well, mint, but oh, not Oh, so I guess much. no. No, okay. mint actually does not settle your stomach. No? It's parsley. No. Oh. That will aggravate your stomach. Hmm. So here's, here's a little lesson. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Cheers to happy spring. Oh, my gosh, they do look beautiful. They're very cute. They do look nice. I just lost mm. my top. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Do you like That's that? Good. I can really taste the carrot. Mm -hmm. I think the dry champagne brings out the taste of the carrot juice. I like it. It kind of tastes like a vacation drink. You know? To yes. summer. Here, well, spring and then summer here again, because that does like bring That's you to a place that... That's kind of a little different. Yeah, I like that. A little different. We're coloring mm -hmm. outside the lines. It's okay to do that. And you do do that. Mm-hmm. I had All a little right. parsley up my nose, but here's to a carrot mimosa, and I have to share with you one of my favorite carrot cakes oh, that we're going to get started on. Carrot cake. Mm. Well, you know, I have to admit that I wasn't really a fan of, of carrot cake. Oh, really? I love carrot when cake. When I was younger. I think I've kind of grown into it, 
and it actually is very yummy. I think yummy. you might have made it for my birthday last year. Yes, I actually did. <laughs> I tried to make favorite cakes for my friends, and you wanted mm -hmm. carrot cakes, so and you liked that. I do. So, anytime you want to sip on your okay. springy mimosa. And what are we doing ahead. over here with I this? I need from you the dry ingredients in my little recipe card okay. because there are so many ingredients, but I know we start off with two cups of flour. Two cups of all -purpose flour. All-purpose flour. Just going to put that in a mixing bowl. One. And can I have my recipe? I think this is one cup you of sugar. You need the recipe, Lynn? Yes, I do, because I have so many things on my mind. You know it is one cup of sugar. I have I a right. confession. I am not a recipe girl. I am mm -hmm. a, like, let's mix stuff together. and. But with cakes, though, I find myself, you really kind of have to. Cakes, it's kind of true. There's some chemistry You going have on. to, yeah. You have to have yeah. the right amount of each thing. Yeah. So we have one cup of sugar, two cups of flour, and then we're going to move on to one cup of light packed brown sugar. Yes. We're going to place that in a big mixing bowl. You're not afraid to get in there, are you? Girl? No, I like to use my hands. I do. Okay, to that we have two teaspoons of baking soda. Okay. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. I love cinnamon. It's my oh, friend. I was just going to say that. I just, it, you know, you smell it's it and it's simple. Just, it's simple, but it smells so good. Mm -hmm. It's just, I do mm, love cinnamon. I it love happy. cinnamon. It makes you happy, happy, okay. happy, happy. Okay. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. And I just put like a pinch or two of salt okay. in there. I don't put a lot of salt in my recipes. I just kind of put just a little bit. And what I like to do before I get it in the mixer, if you have a, a stand mixer or a handheld mixer, I like to take a whisk and I go into my bowl and I just kind of mash up the brown sugar kind and the flour and the sugar. Together. Yeah, I kind of like to do that. And the baking soda and the salt. Just kind of get it going on together before it gets. It's we're going to put fashion way when. Yeah, I, you know, yes, I am a little old fashioned, but we're going to mix it here. So if you have a hand towel mixer or a mixer, you're cool. Either or. Or you can even, if you really want to get your work out and you don't have either one, you can use your hand, but you really have to. You know what? Here's the trick. If you have kids, you call them on over. Yeah. You know, you just rotate shifts. You get them in there. Yeah. <laughs> one could do the draw. Do. Yep. I think that works out well. And we're just going to incorporate all that into there. Oh, my goodness. This is the best. Carrot. It does smell good. I don't mean to toot and my I own like horn or that. <laughs> but this is a really good carrot cake. Okay. I like that you have real carrots, like. Okay, well, we're going to get to that one second. We're going to put this on my mixer stand, and you can take a sip it's of your a mimosa. Big mixer there. Okay, we have our dry ingredients in there, and then we're going to beat in some eggs. But before we do that, why don't you bring me my big knife and my carrots? Uh -oh. Now, I went ahead and I, um, I shredded my carrots already. Oh, very safe with the knife. I went ahead and I shredded my carrots. But I use my food processor if you have a hand, handheld one that you want to shred them with, or you can buy bagged carrots in the store. They do I would have... never handheld all those carrots. Okay, or no you can way. buy them like in the bag already. Or oh, you yes. can. She bought yes, one I of wanted these to show you they have them. Yes, they're However, under However, she yes. did authentically do her carrots. Yes, I did my by own hand. carrots. In the food processor, oh, not really, okay. technically not by hand. All right. But what I like to do, this is two cups, uh, two cups of shredded carrots right here, but what I don't leave they them just don't like this. They look as good. They just well, don't. You, well, they, they can if you don't really want to mess with it. If you want to do it one, two, three, you can just get them at the store, but mine are done in the food processor, but I don't leave them like that. I like to do a fine chop on them because I don't like to get into my carrot cake and get like a long string of carrot. I like my carrots fine, finely chopped and little. I'm a carrot snob when it comes to my carrots you know and what? my carrot That's cake. Not she's snobby about. Well, <laughs> as you're friends with somebody for a very long time, you learn what they like and what they don't like. Don't put your hand here. That's true. <laughs> No, I like my fingers. <laughs> you like your fingers. There's a lot of things that we are like particular about. And you yes. you are particular about her beer. She loves different kinds of beer. 
Well, and this lady here, she doesn't like to sit in the lawn at concerts. No, I don't. No. I like That's to when sit I knew she was but, a snob. No, but I, it wasn't like that when I was a teenager. <laughs> so that comes with age. So we're finally chopping our carrots. And this is going to go into the dry mixture. And if you would like to crack four eggs that are going to go into eggs. there. Well, I chop my carrots, finely chopped, so we have four eggs that we're going to put in there. Ooh, she's quick. So well, there's no other way to Finely chopping cracking. our carrots so we don't have any long pieces in there. And if you get one, that's okay, but at least there's not. <gasps> Ooh. What? What happened? Yeah, I thought it was a double oak. Oh, yeah. oh, well, that would have been interesting. That's okay. That's a bonus. You know, the store okay. grocery store that we shop at a lot often has... Oh, really? Oh, they do. Double. Well, you know I what? Then you consider that. that a bonus. Okay. Our carrots are finely chopped. We have four eggs that are into our dry mixture. And then we're going to add one cup of vegetable oil into the eggs. Ooh, a cup? What if I want one to use cup. applesauce? You can use applesauce as well. That's fine. That would work. But one cup or of vegetable oil. sometimes. You can, whatever you have. I mean, that's if you, whatever you want to do. That would add a different flavor to, actually, that would be yummy. Yeah. Okay, so we have that, one cup of oil. And then if you can pass me those two items over here. We have a cup of crushed pineapple, which is, let's see, about eight ounces of crushed pineapple. And we drained the juice, but we saved two tablespoons of juice from what you drained, okay? So we're gonna add that to the eggs and to the oil and the dry okay. mixture. That's the crushed pineapple. And then our two tablespoons of juice. We're gonna go in there. Okay, those are gonna be for later. We don't want those right now. You don't want raisins yet? No, not raisins. And we have our finely chopped carrots that are gonna go into All right. All the them. carrot cake. How much? How many carrots? How Two many cups. Have? Two cups, okay. So we're gonna add those mm. to the carrot cake. Anticipation. Oh yes, this is quite, quite yummy. Delightful. Add those in there. You wouldn't mind setting that over there. And we do have a um, almost a cup of crushed walnuts, but we're gonna hand stir them in after we mix all the ingredients. So we have everything in there, and now we're going to put this on. And let me tell you, this is such I don't know how yours works, a though. delicious cake. We're going to mix that for a few. It's going to get a little loud in here. So this is a good time to take a drink break. Oh. So we'll do that. Oh, it's okay. mixing up good. Mm -hmm. Now, do you always have to scrape the bottom? No, that goes right in there. You see it goes one, two, three, and we'll whip it up. Mine, I always have to scrape the bottom. It looks pretty good. Now, we're for both. TV time, I okay. just cut that down and mixed it. <laughs> but if I were not on TV, I would be walking around doing other things. Or, like you said, have a child mix it for you. Stand yes. there and mix it. So that's good. I'm just going to move this over here. And How about coconut? Concerned. Is coconut welcome to the party? You, you know what? It could come to the party, but I am not a coconut like fan. Like so coconut. this is my carrot cake. So I put what I like in my carrot cake. But if you okay, were to make I your carrot cake asking. and I were to have it at your house, I would say, oh my gosh, that's delicious. And go and like, you would oh, lie? there's coconut in oh, there. Gosh, uh, really? No, but I am really not a coconut fan. Oh. But you know what? I do like coconut juice. It all depends on where you put the coconut. But the lime and the co that would be a drink. Yeah, see, I like coconut in my drink. You're crazy. I know I am. <laughs> I just realized that. I and don't just okay, now, I just don't now. like shredded coconut. There we go. I don't like it in my cakes or in my candy. Oh no. I don't candy. like it. Oh, no. no, I don't. Sam, Sam I, I am. am. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So now we have this all mixed together, our dry and our wet ingredients, and oh, it's yummy, 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 yummy. If you want to put that Very in nice. the sink for me, please. I just get all the dirty stuff And we stuff are going to hit almost a cup of the crushed walnuts into our mixture. 
Well, I want pecans, Lynn. Well, you know, <laughs> if you want pecan, whatever nut you want in your carrot cake, you can have. Okay. <laughs> you're glad, good because you're a nut. You are a nut nut. That's why I love you. You're so sweet. Okay, we're going to incorporate okay, those nuts pretty in there. Edible. Oh, yes. But what we're going to do, usually I put this in a well greased 13 by 9 inch pan in a 350 oven. Okay. But today, I You're thought it would it be fun, so I have this little ladle, if we went ahead and put them in little, little, so you don't feel so Those bad. Those are cute. But you know what this is? No, They're okay. like your own personal cake. Yes. And you know what? Let me tell you, I always tell you guys, I if you one. don't have it, phone a friend. It, but I you phone, phone a, friend. a friend. Don't go out and buy Lynn it. Lynn has say, everything. Hey, you know. Hey, Everything. text or call your friend, which I would call because yes. I'm so much of a texter. But um, I do somewhat texting. But call <laughs> first. And if you it. don't have these, or like I always tell you, go to estate sales and get these cute little, little, Those little Those are pans. very cute. You know, so I we, bought the Pampered Chef version, and I bet you right. I spent more than you did. Oh, I bet you did, and I got these in a estate sale. Cute. I can't even tell you for how much because I don't remember, but they weren't a whole lot. So mm -hmm. phone a friend or buy them yourself or whatever you okay. want to do. But if it's for something that you don't do, we're just going to I You're going just to use some, the ladling. some cooking spray, and we're going to get them right into the pan About, like so. Like, Half full, two-thirds yeah, full? like that. About two-thirds full. About two-thirds full, yeah. Because right. you don't want to fill it up you all the way. You got a little there, sister. Gotta, you know, I do like to wipe my pans oh, yes. before I put them in the oven. And this one I did find out I want to fill first in the middle. That's what I found out about this guy. Yes, you generally want to start in the middle. And I used a ladle because, you know, I could have got you a ladle and you could have... Done the you know little what? ones. You could get Oops, really I crazy and throw it in a ziploc and cut a little oh, edge out. We would be you would have cut to cut a little off. big of a hole because the hole would have to be bigger. Actually you might be surprised. Really? Yeah. I, I think like it's to a do very that. good idea. I'm kind of wacky that way, but no. ziplocs are very handy, like a quart bag and you just Put whatever you I want in there. Like that. You take your kitchen scissors and you cut off a corner. And you can get it right directly in the hole, especially if it's yes, a pan like can. that. Okay, good idea. That is in my head I do right that now. When I ice too. Yes, icing too. definitely. But that was a I mean good I have idea. the Wilton's bags and you everything, can even but sometimes do that. it's easier. You can even do that for cupcakes. Yes, you can. And cupcakes pancakes? are always tricky. When you want to do pancake art, like my, my little boys, they like to <gasps> do pancake art at home. Yeah. Oh yeah. They bring it out with the hot griddle. <gasps> Because and those squeezable bags. bottles, those squeezable bottles don't work. They don't work. You know, they're not as user friendly. We've tried. We've tried to do those squeezable bottles yeah, on the pancake art, and you know You're what? You're doing pretty good there, Lynn. I like. I like the idea of using a Ziploc bag, and I mm -hmm. like the idea of using that as well Easy for this schmeasy. one. You know, you don't always have to go out and buy something special. No, no. you don't. So we now we learned we can phone a friend, or we can go to an estate <laughs> sale, or we can just use. Something we have around. Something around that we have. And I'm going to have you wipe this pan here before we okay. put it in our 350 oven for about 15 minutes. This guy Ooh, is really? going to go 15. in. 15 minutes. 15 oh, to 20 minutes. Oh, we can minutes. have carrot cake quickly. Yeah, because like it, cause it's not a, you know what I mean? It's not a big They're pan. Smallish. They're smaller. And that cuts down the okay. baking time, especially with these little guys. These little guys over here is less time but if you wouldn't mind wiping that I suppose we don't want any little burnt edges I'm going to fill these and then after we fill these little guys we are going to move on to my carrot salad when I was putting together the show I thought of a salad that my mom used to make and it was with um, like miracle dressing like whipped dressing Oh. and carrots shredded carrots and raisins and she would just put it together but this one I thought, you know, I have some pineapple juice left from the carrot oh, cake. So you're going to try to sweeten so it up I a little gonna, bit? So I am going to, I put it with the whipped dressing and we're going to whip it together and toss in some shredded carrots and some raisins and we have a little side salad that you can use That's too with carrots. Idea. So do you want me to go ahead and just put this right in the oven? Yes, on the lower oven. It would be okay. awesome. Thank you. And then we're going to fill these up. These little muffin, tiny muffin bite size. 
be good to go. Oh, now those are a little fuller. They're getting robust. You, you know what? They are. They just went because I was watching you. That's okay. <laughs> but that's okay because, you know, I sprayed the pan, the pan with cooking spray, so they're, you know, they they'll be fine. They might look more like muffins. Yeah, yeah. they'll be good. But you know what like we're going to do? We're going to put this one in and we'll fill the other pan a little later because I want to show you the um, frosting for these after I do the salad. Mm. So if you wouldn't mind putting these in the oven, oh, we'll nice. just set this aside. Let me get... That's okay. There's just a little bit just on there. Just a little bit. You're just we'll a little bit. We're just going to set this over here and we'll finish those later. So incredibly easy. Now we're going to move on to our carrot salad because it is spring and we're getting carrot away. Oh my goodness. If you wouldn't mind passing me the whipped dressing and then I have the raisins and you can use golden raisins, you can use the darker raisins, you can use dates, whatever. And I picked this really pretty bowl because I thought it, it was like, very pretty. I thought it was like springy. So okay. we're going to put that in there and then right in this bowl, we're going to add the whipped dressing. Not the real mayonnaise, because this has, that, you say? this is about a half a cup to a okay. cup. It depends on how much you want to make and the crowd you have that you're okay. going to be serving. And then we're going to, oh, see, it smells, I haven't had that in a long time. It smells good. And we're going to add a little bit of that pineapple juice. We didn't throw away the pineapple juice when we drained the pineapple from, from the carrot cake. And we're just going to whisk this together. Mm -hmm. Are you singing? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Here we go. What kind of song are you going to sing? I make? don't know. Here it's a uh, What is the song? formal name? Here comes Peter Cottontail. Hop and down. That's the Easter song. But you this know, is the only funny song I can think of. My tell stories about the Easter Bunny. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? What kind of story did you tell about the like, Easter Bunny? I looked out the window this morning, and I saw that there were some footprints in the snow. They were really big. <laughs> it was a really good story. Oh, know. my gosh. That's awesome. Yeah. And it would go on and on, and we'd all humor him, you know? Well, that's okay. Yeah. No, it was some... great fun. I well, loved I it. I think that that's awesome. We're going to add our shredded carrots, or you can buy them in the store, like I said. And we're going to coat these, and we're going to sprinkle while we do that some raisins. A little sprinkling of some raisins. Raisins in there. Hmm. Okay, and some more carrots, and coat those all in there with hmm. the dressing of the pineapple juice. So it's kind of like a sweet. It is going to be really sweet, actually. I'm going to coat that up, and then we're going to put it in a nice bowl, and it's going to look so pretty. Did you know that they used to make pasta sauce out of carrots? Oh, yes, I did know that. Yeah. Yes, I did Isn't know that. that yes. Something? Okay, so we coated we the raisins. Try that yes. Lynn. You want to do that? We, we can could. do that. Oh, that smells so good. Are you going to grow carrots in your garden this year? I don't ever grow carrots. I don't know. I don't know. I have to be vegetables. inspired by that. No, neither am I. We're going to put this in here, and then I'm going to show you the frosting real quick. Now, hold on. Is the frosting going on the salad? No, the frosting Do is going to go on. Do we get a little garnish of parsley on this? Do you want to put garnish? Look at I how pretty that looks. I think it would be looks. pretty. Here, let's put that over there. Okay. Oh, gosh. That smells That's so pretty good. pretty easy. Smell that. Mm -mm. Oh. It easy. really does smell Easy, good. easy, easy. See, mm -hmm. you know what? This parsley was a good buy because you could just keep it in a keep it in a little glass, juice glass, and put some water in it, and it stays fresh. Cool. And it's a little garnish for everything. That looks very nice. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Does that scream spring it or really what? It really does. It does. Look at that. Very Happy nice. spring. Good job, Lynn. So now, the frosting to the carrot cake. Okay. She's really about this frosting. I, oh, <laughs> my dear. Oh, yes. Okay, we have that going on. That is done. Our mimosas. We're drinking in the kitchen, of course. We always okay. have to have a little cocktail in the kitchen. Set that over there. This frosting is so simple. Okay. Okay. This fr I'm going to have you plug in my little handheld mixer over here. This, right where that mixer was at, this frosting is simply two eight ounce cream cheese, softened, a half a stick of butter that is softened Ooh. as well, and then a cup 
and a half of powdered sugar. And then to that, we're going to add about two, uh, two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay? And we're going to mix this up. I already started, so we want to yeah. listen. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I just got it up. Right here. Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I wasn't on camera, I would lick that right off my shirt because it's so darn good. Okay, now you have to try this. And we already have these, actually. You know what? Do you oh, want to try? they look really would good. You, would you like to try one? I think I might like to try one. So those are baking in a 350 oven. Is. Aren't they good? Let me try one of Looks these. Looks really good. Cheers. Okay. Mmm. 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 And the most important part, I got cream cheese all over my shirt. Um, it tastes sprinkle, like my birthday. Sprinkle <laughs> with ground up walnuts on top. Mm. You must do that. Look at, see? Or pecans. The car or pecans. The carrots are chopped finely. <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. So, does it hit frosting all Very over me? Very nice. This was a nice idea. And yeah, very, very good. In your house, it will smell so good when that carrot cake mm -hmm. is cooking in there. You know, Rhonda, I'm going to take my parsley out because it just go up it's my nose. It's distracting. Yes. I want to toast to you again. Thank you so much for getting carried for away with me, me on Hayland What's Cooking. And I hope you enjoy the carrot salad. That was one of my mom's favorites. That and nice. my favorite carrot cake. And, of course, a carrot mimosa. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Bye-bye.